Shalom brothers and sisters. So I thought I'd take a minute and share with you some facts raised by Professor William Happer, which will address the whole climate change fraud and everything they're selling to bring in a system of control for the final week of Daniel. That's actually what it's about. So Professor Emeritus of Physics at Princeton University, William Happer, discussed common misconceptions in climate science, especially the negative reputation given to CO2 on Sky News Australia. More CO2 is good for the world. It's not bad for the world, and so it's absurd to be trying to reduce CO2 emissions, he said. Fact. Absolute fact. And the fact that the whole world is buying into this evil lie shows you how easily the masses are swayed to believe something that is empirically not true. First and foremost, CO2 is plant food. Reduce CO2, remove CO2, less plants. Less plants, less oxygen. Less oxygen, less people, less animals, less life. Who wants life destroyed? The devil. Our current geological period, according to him, has the lowest average CO2 levels in the last 600 million years. Okay, so refer that back to actual truth. It has the lowest CO2 levels in the last 6,000 years. Since creation to now, this is the lowest CO2 levels. Shocker, I know. Current CO2 levels are near record lows. We are CO2 impoverished. More CO2 would mean more plant growth, which would be good for the world. More CO2 helps to feed more people worldwide because it will help crops. But we don't want more people. We want less people. Depopulation. Modern warming of the world began more than 300 years ago. So this generation had no part of that. Temperatures changed dramatically during the past 10,000 years, 6,000 years. So it wasn't us. <clears throat> it's a process that's been coming for a while. The last interglacial was 8 degrees Celsius, 14 degrees Fahrenheit, warmer than today. The polar bears survived that. Greenland did not melt. So everything they're telling you is a joke when compared to actual hard science. Their science. We are living in one of the coldest periods in all of Earth's history, he says. Quite different to what they're saying. For most of Earth's history, it was about 10 degrees Celsius, 18 degrees Fahrenheit, warmer than right now, today. I'll link the, the site for you too, and you can go read into him. You can go and Google him and see that he's not a fraud. He actually has the qualifications and knows what he's talking about. And that they are lying to the masses because they want to just bring about a system of control. You have to be lying about stuff like that so you can get people away from actual normal vehicles with fossil fuels and onto electric vehicles controlled by chips, driven by AI, that everything can be controlled. Just last week, they brought out technology that's going to be rolling out into all vehicles coming out and released from this year, from July this year, where it will monitor if you're driving too fast and then force your vehicle to slow down and brake and they can even shut you down which they've already got built into electronic vehicles for their use when they choose to do so. And all of this, again, speaks to a control system, a control mechanism that they can then exert on the population at any time they choose. And that is a big part of what the New World Order is going to look like, control. And you will believe the lies because they will drum up any experts, scientists, or professors who get paid the right amount of money to say exactly what they're told to say. It's not about the actual science or provable facts or anything like that. It's about where the money is. I know that sounds terrible, but welcome to the end period of mankind. This is what it looks like. Deception 
is rife everywhere. We, however, have the truth, and the truth has set us free. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.